At this stage, we now have our computer or laptop set up in the home or office, and we've also got our new internet or broadband connection connect set up. So what's advisable to do is for anybody accessing the computer, they need to have what's known as a user account. Now, in my example here, I'm going to set up a, a computer for a household, and Mary here set up the computer the first day ever, so by default she's the administrator. So I'm just going to click on Mary here to log on. So the first thing I need to do is to click here on the Windows or the Start button at the bottom left hand corner and navigate over here to the Control Panel and click on that. Now here we have at the top right here, now it might vary on your system, that this can move around, but I'm looking for an option here for User Accounts and Family Safety. Now in my demonstrations here I'm using a system which has got Windows Vista. Now most of you out there will either have Windows Vista or Windows XP. The setup is very similar for both, the options are very similar. So I'm going to click on User Accounts and Family Safety. Now the first thing I need to do here, I am logged on as, as Mary, is I need to set a password on this account because this account is the administrator. So there's an option here to create a password, so I'm going to set that. and just set it to something that's fairly secure that nobody can guess and just create that password and that's done now the next thing I need to do is select the option here to manage another account just click continue and what I need to do here is create a new account now one of the members of this whole household is a chap called Michael okay so by default it, it selects here the standard user. So standard user accounts can use more software and change some settings, but they don't impact on the security of the computer. Not really advisable to, to have too many administrators because administrator has full access to everything on the system. So just go leave it as standard user and create the account. Now because Michael is a young member of this family, I need to set up some parental controls. So down here at the bottom, we just click on the parental controls option. Click continue. So for every account you set up, you're going to have an icon here. At the moment, I just have one account here for Michael, and obviously Mary, the computer administrator. So I need to set up some print controls on Michael, and I do that by just clicking on the icon. First thing I need to do here is to enable the print controls. So they're now enabled. You click the on button. Second option here is activity reporting. So this will collect information about computer usage. Um, probably a good idea to leave that on. So moving down. We have a number of settings here. I'm going to come back to the Windows web filter in a second. But one option you can pick here is the time limits option. Now this will limit when Michael can use the computer. So if your computer is in an, in an area in either your home or office that's hard to um, supervise, you might restrict when it can be used. So you might want to choose maybe to have an hour each evening or maybe some time at the weekend. So you can set some time limits. You can also control what games people can access. And you can also block access to specific programs. Now a good example here would be if you've the computer set up in an office environment, you could block access to the payroll application except for the administrator. Now the option I need to set up here for Michael is the, the web filter. So I'm going to click on that. And I have a number of options. I could choose to allow all websites or block some, so I'm going to leave it on default to block some websites. I could just allow access to certain websites myself. I could click this option here and then type in what websites this particular person can access. So maybe in an office environment, you could set up the profiles that they can only access some business related websites. But the option here that I'm going to set up for Michael is to block some web, con web content automatically. Really, there's two of interest here. You're either going to set it up on a higher medium. So if you choose high, it'll block most web activity except websites that have been approved for children. Example of that would be, let's say, Disney.com. More common option to choose here is the medium. So this would block unrateable content. So stuff out there that maybe some mature content or, 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 or articles and websites dealing with the likes of hate speech or weapons. So that's going to choose that option for Michael here. The next option now is you can block some file downloads. Now, 
it is useful sometimes to download files, but it's probably in some cases you might want to restrict that to the administrator. A user here may be able to download software that they, they'll use to bypass the web filter. So you might want to block that, or maybe some people might be downloading um, music files and that. So you might want to block file downloads. They can still access the internet and browse the internet, but they won't be able to download anything from it. So something you might want to consider for some accounts. I'm just going to leave the medium web fi uh, filter on, and I'm just going to click OK. So Michael's account is now set up. So we have a summary of it here on the right. Michael is a standard user. He doesn't have a password set yet. He's got medium web restrictions, and he can use the computer anytime, all games and all programs. So I'm just going to click OK to that now. So that's Michael's account set up. So now what I want to do, what might be worth doing is you just click on the start button down the bottom left again. And if you click this little arrow here, you have an option to switch user. So I'm going to choose that. And I can log on as Michael just to make sure that the profile is working. And we're just going to maybe check that Michael can access the internet. Now the first time you log on when you with an account after you create it, um, it takes a couple of minutes to prepare the desktop, to prepare icons, set up the filters, and so do some some initial things. So this doesn't happen all the time. So there's just a little delay there the first time you log on. So I'm going to click on Start menu here, and I'm going to click on the internet. Now it's trying here first to go to the Microsoft.com just to give some information about some products from Microsoft. I'm going to stop that, click on the X here. And I'm going to go to just test to make sure that Michael can access um, the internet. I'm going to put in here www.wikipedia.com. Wikipedia is a really useful online encyclopedia, very useful for research and for schoolwork. So yes, Michael can access Wikipedia, so that's good. So this profile is now set up, now ready to be used by Michael. As I mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to create a profile for anybody that needs to access the computer. 15 years of experience dealing with computers and the 